On 5th April 2007, my cousin Shivam had a serious crash. He asked passers-by for help, but nobody did anything that would save his life. After waiting for help, he passed away on the scene. The trauma that I experienced following the incident got me to start looking at the issue very closely. Something had to change. I took time to travel across India to understand what really was happening in the country. And I fundamentally learned three things. I learned that road crashes are a public health issue that kill 1.35 million people globally each year. The second thing I discovered was that nearly 50% of those killed in road crashes in India died despite having treatable injuries. And the third thing I discovered was that the public inaction that we saw was not apathy. It was a very profound fear of being blamed for the incident itself. This issue has not been looked at from the lens of public health. And fundamentally, the resources that must go into dealing with such an issue are not allocated appropriately, even though they exist in majority of countries. And with that in mind, I founded the Save Life Foundation. In 2013, we did our research on why bystanders are not really helping road crash victims. And what we found was that there was a tremendous fear of legal and procedural hassles. So we worked with the government and we were able to institutionalize the Good Samaritan Law in India to ensure that Good Samaritans, the bystanders are protected. During this process, I also gained a very deep insight into what were the systemic issues that were leading to these incidents. We must address road infrastructure issues, vehicular safety issues, driver behavior issues, and then fundamentally trauma care issues, which can then ensure that life can be saved. Save Life then decided to establish a program that would implement all of these best practices. The Zero Fatality Corridor is a replicable, scalable model of road safety. We focus on one large corridor by about 100 kilometers and reducing the fatalities in that corridor to near zero levels. Once we show that this model is effective, then we replicate and we scale it. System change takes time. What Save Life does is create a platform where we can bring all of the stakeholders together, uh, whether it's the bureaucracy, whether it's political leadership, media, health officials, the community members, and try and build consensus around not just what the nature of the problem is, but to push for systemic changes that would find a lasting solution to this problem.